Sinovac is one of the world's fastest vaccine companies in developing a COVID-19 vaccine candidate. It has been proven safe based on phase one and two clinical trials results conducted in China and declared eligible by the local state authorities. After going through a three-month phase, three clinical trial conducted in Indonesia, this phase three clinical trial has received an emergency use authorization, EUA, based on a three-month interim report. Sinovac began shipping the first COVID-19 vaccine to Indonesia. The first vaccine shipment sent from Sinovac was on December 6, 2020, with three million doses in the form of a finished product. And the next in the form of semi-finished products, bulk, as many as 15 million doses in January 2021. This number of bulk shipments will continue to grow to 140 million doses until the third quarter of 2021. All COVID-19 vaccine products sent from Sinovac use an Envirotainer, which is a sophisticated vaccine carrier designed to keep the vaccine temperature stable in the range of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Traveling for five hours, the COVID-19 vaccine in the form of a finished product and bulk was sent via Beijing Capital International Airport to Sokarno Hatta Airport in Senkarang. By using a Boeing 777-300 aircraft from the Garuda Indonesia airline, which is used specifically to transport the COVID-19 vaccine. The use of Garuda Indonesia Airline is a form of collaboration from SOEs for Indonesia so that the COVID-19 pandemic is immediately resolved. To keep the vaccine in good condition, an officer will check the temperature listed on the Envirotainer before being sent to the storage area at Biopharma Bandung. During COVID-19 vaccine transfer from the container to the cold room at Biopharma, the temperature must be kept in the control of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Caution is needed in delivering the COVID-19 vaccine to its final destination. And most importantly, the temperature in the Envirotainer must be maintained at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. After arriving at Biopharma, these vaccines will be stored in the Biopharma cold room with a temperature that is maintained between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. And a series of tests will be conducted at the Biopharma lab following applicable standards. Biopharma's collaboration with Sinovac is not only limited to the delivery of finished products, however, there have been some transfers of technology from Sinovac to Biopharma. Among other things, fill and finish technology for COVID-19 vaccine products. Biopharma has prepared a COVID-19 vaccine production facility with a maximum capacity of 100 million doses and will increase to 250 million doses. Every product that has passed the fill and finish process will be forwarded to the visual inspection process as one of the stages of product quality control to ensure the final product is following applicable standards. If there are products that are not feasible, the machine will automatically separate them into defect categories. To ensure the quality and safety of the COVID-19 vaccine at the production, 
packaging stage. Track and trace technology is embedded in the form of a unique two-dimensional barcode data matrix on the primary, secondary, and tertiary packaging of COVID-19 vaccine products. The installation of this track and trace technology is a recommendation and requirement from the POM agency, the World Health Organization, WHO, and UNICEF, which functions as a digital identification of vaccine products to prevent product counterfeiting. Fast-growing technology can be utilized and implemented in the medical world, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. For example, digital technology use for the COVID-19 vaccine distribution process. Vaccines that have gone through the fill and finish stage are ready to be distributed to various regions in Indonesia. Using a track and trace system, Biopharma guarantees that COVID-19 vaccine products will remain of high quality from the point of production until given to the public. With the implementation of track and trace technology in the future, hopefully there will be no more product counterfeiting or vaccine product shortages. Support for the use of this technology is very much needed, considering that the vaccination program for COVID-19 is very massive and large. Where Indonesia needs 426 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine for around 181.5 million vaccine recipients. To distribute this much vaccine, technology that can maintain the quality of the vaccine is needed. To avoid vaccines that have been declared good in terms of products, experiencing problems during distribution, which can cause the vaccine to be damaged or not following the quality for the public. Therefore, technology is needed to support vaccine distribution. The COVID-19 vaccine distribution process will use the Vaccine Distribution Management System, SMDV, that integrated with other systems inside and outside the pharmaceutical SOE's holding. To include a command center equipped with an Internet of Things, IoT dashboard, to monitor all conditions that occur on the way, including real-time monitored temperature limits, location, speed, and other emergency conditions, and a vaccine tracking dashboard to monitor vaccine movement. The application of SMDV is the first system in the world to be applied to the COVID-19 vaccine, where this system will monitor the position of the truck, the temperature of the vaccine, which is continuously updated every five minutes, which will report to the command center at the pharmaceutical SOE's holding. In the future, this SMDV can be applied to vaccine products or other pharmaceutical products so that there will be no more news of fake vaccines or pharmaceutical products that are not registered but are on the market.